KJ Nunes. Welcome to Brazil. I, I, I heard that it wasn't the, the, the best uh, way you come to Brazil. They, 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 they lost your, your, your luggage on, on, on the way here. Yeah, but uh, the food's really good. <laughs> it's making up for it. Yeah, the food's good. So. Talk about the, the, the fight Saturday. Uh, how was your, your training camp for, for, for this fight since you had to make a few changes with the change of, of opponents? It was very good. I uh, did a lot of conditioning and I had a great, camp, I had a great uh, training the um, past couple months. I enjoyed it, had fun, I'm ready for the fight. Did you change too much your strategy and things you, you, you train with the change of opponents? Yeah, just, you know, just try to um, touch up on all the skills and just get better, well, more well-rounded, you know? Um, just try to get better at everything, you know, as, as a fighter, as you, get, as you keep fighting. This fight's going to be at 170, right? Yes. Uh, I was training for 155 and they were probably spent, you know, um, he used fights 155, but uh, I don't think he could make it, or we agreed upon 170, so. That's the last time you that that you do, you did something like that was against Sam Sam style right that on yes. right before the weigh-ins you just agreed to stop cutting anyway. weight. Yeah, we were already kind of below 170 and we agreed not to go and UFC said okay because um, we don't want to cut that much weight and make the fight more exciting. So hopefully for the same thing here, I I've, I haven't seen too many fights on um, Oliveira, but um, I know he's a stand-up guy and I'm sure he. I'm sure he's an entertaining fighter, I'm assuming, stand-up. <laughs> Last fight against uh, Stout was a big win. When you stop cutting weight, do you think it's going to be uh, the, the, the same on Saturday? I think so. You know, I think um, you cut so much weight, you know, everybody cuts 15, 20 pounds in a couple weeks and it's very hard and very stressful on the body. I'm here, I've never been to, to Brazil, I don't have my clothes, but I'm eating good steak. You know, every day, and I feel good, and I can work out and rest and relax, and not have to lose all that weight. So it feels good. So why not just stay uh, 170? Maybe we'll see. Let's uh, let's do this fight, and we'll see. You know, the, the guys are a lot bigger at 170, but um, you know, it comes down to skill too. So take this fight, and we'll go from there. What did you did you learn watching him fight Gilbert Burns? I, I imagine that's the fight you you, you watch him in his UFC debut. He was dominating the fight in the end. He he. he, he got submitted. What did, what did you learn from, from his game? Um, you know, he's a stand-up fighter, but I haven't watched too much of his fights from before. But um, I'm assuming if he's Muay Thai, he probably comes forward. But he was moving back a lot because he was you know, from the takedown defense. So um, I'm ready for him to come forward or move back, um, kind of mix it up. I'm sure he has takedown. I know he's got some jiu-jitsu. So kind of ready for everything, you know. Um, it was hard. I didn't really see too much there because, um, I mean, I'm not known for my takedown, so I don't think he'll be too afraid of the takedown. But I have that if I want to, but we'll, we'll see where it goes. <laughs> do you see this, this fight being a three-round war, or do you think he's got to get the, the, the finish? I am going to get the finish, but I don't think it's going to come easy. You know, I think he's a big guy. You know, we're both not cutting weight. I'm sure he's durable. He has 12 fights. And actually, I'm the, I'm the underdog, right? I think so, so. <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm the underdog, so let's rock. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the UFC is, is, is starting to, to do that re, that re, Reebok deal, and uh, you were a veteran from, from Strife for, for a long time ago. Uh, how do you see that, that deal? Is it going to be uh, painful for you? you are, are, you, are you going to, to, to lose a lot of money with it? I'm going to lose some money, um, a good amount, but um, I guess if you have to look at the big picture, Things change, companies change, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see where it goes, and you just gotta, you know, keep fighting, and hopefully it's for the better. Do, do you do you believe that maybe in the future more fighters are, are are getting an extra cut from from that deal, like Conor Mc, Mc, McGregor, Ronda Rousey, they are getting uh, uh, deals outside of the, the num their number of fights. They get sponsors also. Do you think more fighters are slowly getting more? of the extra deal with, with, with the brands? I don't know, that's an interesting question, you know, because you know, it's tough to get sponsors already in UFC, but maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe they see a big sponsor and they say they want to be involved, I don't know. I don't own companies to sponsor fighters like that. Maybe if they can get something out of it, maybe. Uh, maybe it'll be good, I, I, don't, I don't really know, but it's change and you, know, you can't really do anything about it, so just try to stay positive and move forward on it. Did your sponsors talk to you about it? Um, for myself, I have a few sponsors, and uh, I'm going to lose money on it, but like I said, it's, you just have to 
got to change, so you can't really do anything about it. Just get used to it. <laughs> and uh, just to, to wrap to wrap this, uh, how do you see yourself winning on on Saturday? I always go for the knockout. I visualize. I see myself knocking this guy out, and um, I feel like I'm durable. I'm in shape. I'm ready. I'm ready to have a, a good fight, and um, I'm ready to show my skills and everything. You know, Muay Thai, kickboxing, wrestling, ground, boxing, everything. So I'm really excited. I'm excited to be fighting in Brazil. It's his uh, his home country, so I feel like there's a lot more pressure on him than me. No pressure on me. I feel good. <laughs>